Hi guys, this is FFAN16 and welcome to some exciting news. Concerned Ape has released the 1.6 update release date for PC. Let's head on over to his Twitter page and see what he has to say. Alright guys, here you go. This is a tweet that Concerned Ape made this afternoon. He is announcing for the 8th anniversary of Stardew Valley. Thank you so much for all your support. You're welcome Concerned Ape. Love your game. Today, he wants to announce the PC release for the 1.6 update to be March 19th. You guys, we're less than a month away. This is exciting times. Console and mobile will follow as soon as possible. So he's got to do the coding and stuff to make sure that it works on console and mobile. But he's got the PC version ready to go. So this is super exciting. Thanks to remember to get your game ready for the 1.6 update. If you are running mods on your game like I am, Make sure to take those mods out of the Sardew Valley mod folder and save them somewhere else, as well as any save files that you have that are utilizing those mods. Reason to do this is just to safeguard those save files from getting corrupted. Some of your mods may not be updated by the time the 1.6 release comes out to utilize the 1.6 release. And just to be safe, just in case that they don't get corrupted, now, once those mods get updated and you're able to update them in your folder, you can then move them back in as well as your save file and hopefully everything should work clean. I'm going to do that just to save the farm that I've been working on in Stardew Valley Expanded from getting corrupted. Plus, then I'm going to start on a brand new save file for the 1.6 update because of all the new goodies coming along, Concerned Abe does highly suggest that you start a new game save file. So let's take a look. What are we getting with 1.6? So here's the tweet that he made quite a while ago, and I do know that I'm a little late to the game of showcasing this, but I do want to go over quickly a recap of what we're getting in the 1.6 update come March 19th for PC. A new major festival, two new mini festivals. Now that new major festival sounds like it might be a New Year's Eve festival by some of the pictures we've seen. Don't quote me on it though. New late gate content, which expands on each of the skill areas, which is great because we can max out the skill areas pretty early in the game and it'd be nice if we could expand on them and they can do more. New items in crafting recipes. Always good to add more content in that context. Jojo alternatives to some of the end game quests. Awesome. Jojo needs more loving. If you pick that Jojo path, it kind of just ends once you pay all the money to them and the valley goes on living, but without the community center, but nothing really changes in their daily lives or in Joja's way of being present in the valley. So this is going to be pretty cool to see what Joja decides to do if you want to stick to that Joja route. A hundred plus new lines of dialogue, more reasons to talk to the people in the valley. Winter outfits for the villagers, gotta stay warm. New types of rewards from completing billboard requests. So it sounds like we might get some more billboard requests then, hopefully. PC support for 8-player multiplayer. Okay, guys, call to arms. Chocobo Knights, let's do a multiplayer game series here on my YouTube channel. We'll get together maybe once a week or two. We'll record and maybe we'll do a 100 day or something. I think that would be super fun and a real good community thing to do together. Many small additions and adjustments, new farm type, and new secrets and more. So we do have a couple things to look at that he has announced since this was posted. So let's take a look at those. So the first one I want to touch on is how cute is this? Our cats, our dogs can wear hats. I do believe this was a mod at one point, but now it's coming into the main game. You could deck out your favorite pal with their own special do of a hat and you know a bow a hat a fedora you choose you could even probably put the bunny ears and stuff that you can buy from the mouse hut on these guys so there you go guys we can now put hats or headwear on our favorite pet we got a new artisan goods this is the wild horseradish Juice. Now there's another reason to collect horseradishes and we can produce juice. I'm not too sure what this is going to sell for, but yet another goods for us to produce on the farm. So though Concerned Ape is keeping the majority of the extra stuff secret and a surprise for us once the 1.6 release gets released, 
There is one thing that he announced, and it is this bigger chest. Now, you guys, if you're anything like me, you like to organize everything on your farm, and you've got anything from 5 to 20 chests scattered all over the place, full to the brim of goods inside them. Well, now this is twice as much storage as the regular chest, so there's more storage with less chests all over the place, leaving you to be able to decorate your farm without it making look like it's a storage warehouse of chests. <laughs> so I'm very excited to see the, the increase to storage potential. And there you guys go. That is the 1.6 Stardew Valley update information that we got today. Concerned Ape, you are an amazing person. Thank you so much for this beautiful game and the update done to it. I know this was a big haul for you. The 1.6 update was going to be small to begin with, but now you're giving this like the last hurrah before Haunted Chocolate here comes out. Cannot wait to see what the other secrets are and maybe we can get a little Haunted Chocolate here inside of Stardew Valley or we'll be able to see some Stardew Valley and Haunted Chocolate here. What's your guys' thought on the 1.6 update? Are you excited? You got this on PC so you could dive in right away. Let's hope we get the announcement for the consoles and mobile version coming shortly afterwards so those that don't have a PC to play this won't have to wait too long to experience the 1.6 update. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It really helps become a Chobacobo Knight. Join the community. The like also helps push the video out to more to see it. And I do hope you like my content. Leave that comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. And I do respond as quickly or as much as I can. Thanks for watching. And as always, guys, happy gaming!